Good evening, everybody. So today I wanted to talk to you about eight things that the narcissist worries about on a daily basis. concerned about and things that they protect. Uh, the first thing is they worry about abandonment. So they're always concerned about being left alone. So that's why they have so much supply. They will gather supply around them. They will build a group of flying monkeys, their family, their cohorts, and several love partners. And they're always jumping from one to the next, trying to get the next best. And to lock them all down because they're greedy. And they can't focus on one individual. They're always running for themselves. They can't concentrate because they're chasing this dream of theirs. That's a lie, that's why we call it the fantasy. That they are perfect and they're looking for the perfect person. As soon as you're not perfect, they discard you. They try to destroy you and leave the doors open so that they can always come back with no closure. Number two, the narcissist is afraid of losing respect. If they feel like there's a slight, if they feel like there's a change in your voice, if they feel like there's a certain kind of smirk that's gonna lead up to something and you're, that you're gonna injure them, and disrespect them and cause shame to them or something, then they're going to either silent treatment, leave you or leave you alone or be out to smear you. Number three, the fear of being just average. They don't want to be just average. They feel like that's the worst thing you could be because they believe that there's some sort of God status, some sort of demigod or something. And so they believe that everybody in humanity is subservient to them. We're almost dealing with what, what would seem like two different genetically types of people here. They need to be telling you all about their achievements and all about their work ethic and all the valuable things that they usually, generally speaking, they make up distort into something greater than it is because in their own head, they believe these things and that's why we call it the fantasy. Next is the fear of embarrassment. The narcissist, they can dish it out, but they can't accept any kind of criticisms. And you may not be trying to embarrass them. You could be giving them constructive criticism off to the side or something, something that could actually help them because it helped you. Or maybe it is somebody that's trying to embarrass them. And in the case of that, they're very petty. And that's why you don't want to deal with a narcissist because they will try to destroy you. It could be some petty situation at work or at school or somewhere else or in friendships or love partner relationship. They will blow this whole thing up to where you can get in major trouble. The fifth sign that the narcissist is concerned about is somebody finding flaws or ways that they can be doing something wrong or in the case of, say, a project, they may get more than one person involved so that if something goes wrong, then they can always blame shift it onto them. They always like to have another somebody in the mix that they can blame shift it onto outside themselves because they can never be wrong and they can never take constructive criticism. They can never take any kind of accountability for anything. Next thing that the narcissist is concerned about is is somebody embarrassing them. They can't handle the embarrassment because it's just not in them. They have to have this power and control. And if you are going to slight them or even just a presumption of the slight, then they are going to be out to destroy you because they're very petty. They silent treatment you and smear your name. They're always in competition also. So competition, always keep in mind, competition is huge with the narcissist. That's why they triangulate and that's why they get people to fight each other. That's why they don't want you to grow. They don't want you to advance. They want to hold you down. They want to submerge you and they want to keep you frozen and immovable so that you cannot go anywhere in the circle to nowhere. They have to have power and control. And that's why they like positions of management and things like that, because they need to have power and control in their relationships and their friendships and in their work life. So that the more that they can control, the more that they can manipulate, destroy, and blame shift onto others, and you'll just have to take it. They are toxic individuals, and they're always out to destroy, to protect their image. And the final thing that the narcissist is always concerned and worried about is they need to be the center of attention. So anywhere that they go, anything that they do, they need to be the center of attention. They are very controlling, manipulative, and they are very competitive. So they have to be the center of attention or else they will not be there. They will not show up. A lot of times the narcissist is also antisocial. So they will look for somebody, say a love partner, flying monkey, somebody that when they go out will leave the mask or will enable them, will boost them up. So when they get somewhere, they will introduce them, they will lift them up and they will get them going in a comfortable situation 
where they can take over the spotlight and then work their so-called magic so that they can manipulate others and then later on abuse and destroy. So they're really, what's driven by this is their discontent, a lot of their paranoia, their depression and their shame, which leads to them having fear, anxiety, and which drives this whole thing into a prideful state where that they feel better than everybody, they're grandiose, they are superior, and everybody else is supposed to be subservient to them. So if you can give me a like, subscription, and thumbs up. Love y'all till next time. Peace.